Next, example 7.4. Determine the moment of initial for the area about the x axis and the radius of gyration kx. So, now we need to determine the moment of initial about the x axis. So, we need to know where is the x axis and then where is the y axis. Next, we need to, what is the first step we need, we should do? So, we need to divide the composite area into the regular shape. So, now we have, how many shape we have here? So, we're going to have, uh, look at the dotted blue line. So, the first, the first part, I need to sketch the larger rectangular, uh, rectangular larger rectangle which means that the size of the rectangle is 300 by 300 and then uh, I minus with the circle and then I minus with the triangle so we have A, B and C so the second step what we should do we need to determine the perpendicular distance how to determine that? So now we need to determine the, the distance from the x axis to the centroid of the regular shape. So number one, rectangle A. Refer to figure A, the height of the A is equal to 300. Okay, the height is 300. Also, uh, the height for the triangle also 300. Okay. And then the height for the triangle is also 300. Okay. Now, what is the distance for the centroid rectangle? Which means that we need to measure from the x axis to the centroid of the rectangle. So, 300 divided by 2 is equal to 150 mm. That is the DA. Next, what is the distance for the DB? DB is also similar to the DA. It's equal to 150 mm. Next, what is the centroid? Of the triangle so you have studied before you have learned before the centroid of the triangle is wanted from the base so now wanted from the base wanted from the base okay now wanted from the 300 is equal to 100 right so this distance from the x axis to the centroid of triangle is equal to 200 so this is equal to 200 mm Next, we need to substitute all the value that we have defined into the table. So, the first column, you need to put the number. So, numbers of the segment. So, we have A, B and C. So, here, you can sketch okay, the shape. So, you have rectangle, circle and triangle. The next column... You need to determine what is the centroid of moment of inertia. Means that moment of inertia about the centroid where you can refer to the geometric properties. Next, you need to determine, uh, you need to substitute the distance. You need to multiply. You need to power of the power of two. And then the next column, you need to uh, calculate for the area and then add d square and the x. So don't forget. To sum the moment of initial about the ix, about the x axis, we need to minus the hollow section. So we get 1.715 times 10 to the power of 9 millimeter power of 4. So moment of initial about the x axis by using the parallel axis theorem. Next, I want you to do the second case. The so second case, you can divide that, the rectangle into the size uh, which is uh, 200 by 300 uh, 
So you cut into 200 and 300 and then you minus circle and then you plus with the triangle. So you will see what is the moment of inertia about the x as is. Can you do that? Okay, next, we need to determine the radius of direction. So, Kx is equal to square root Ix divided by A. A is the area. And then Kx, so we have the moment of inertia and then we divide by the area. So, the Kx is equal to 146 millimeter. Next, example 7.5. So, determine the moment of inertia for the area about the y axis and the radius of generation ky. So, now we need to determine the MOI about y axis. So, where is the y axis? So, this is the y axis. Okay, now you must remember what is the first step. So, the first step definitely we need to divide that into regular shape. So, next. Okay, let's divide that into regular shape. What shape we have here? We have number one, A, we have rectangle. So, you can sketch the rectangle here. Okay, second, we have what? Semicircle because uh, this is the circle, right? Circle minus, so we left it minus here. So circle and this is semicircle. So we have done for the first step. Okay, second step we need to determine the distance. So now from the what is this? From y is this? So this is the y is this? Okay, so this is x. This is y. So here this is y. And this is X, this is Y, and this is X. Okay, so now we need to measure from the Y axis to the central of the regular shape. From the Y and the next also from the Y to the central of the regular shape. Okay, for this case, number uh, A, A regular shape. So regular shape here, we have 120. So, 120 divided by 2. So, 120 divided by 2 become 60. So, the XA is 60. And then, uh, second, the second uh, B. So, B semicircle. So, semicircle, what is the central of the semicircle? Uh, must remember, 4R over 3, 5. Uh, so, this distance, this distance is, this distance is, 4R over 3 pi. So, you need to calculate. So, R is given here what? So, R is 40 mm. So, we need to um, measure this distance. So, what is the distance? So, you may get the answer is DXB. XB is equal to 137. Okay. And then the last one, circle. So, circle, uh, the central is the, what? It's here. Central is here. So, the central uh, is 120 from this to this one. 120. Okay, the next step, you need to put the value that we have determined into this table so you must remember column number one okay you need to sketch so we have here a b and c so a is rectangle b is semicircle c is circle uh, so another part important that you need to minus the circle so normally remember eh, student always make mistake at this part subtracting when we have follow hollow uh, area okay so uh, the next column you need to determine what is the central moment of area and then uh, we, you have determined the dx and then dx squared area and then you determine a d squared and then the last one you have to sum to get the iy and then the last one to sum of the 
parts that have been divided to get y is the i y i y so this is the i y so i y is equal to 7.530 times 10 to the power of 7 millimeter 4 so you must remember uh, how to determine the semicircle moment of inertia so you can refer to this geometry table because the geometry table give us what give us quarter circle so now we want the entire semicircle so what we should do what we should do hmm. so we need to add we need to multiply by 2 so when we multiply by 2 you will have this equation all right Okay, so the last one is the radius of gyration for the key one. As usual, uh, key one is equal to square root i y divided by a. So a is given here, and the i y is given here, and then key one is equal to eighty three point three mm. All right, that's all for today. Hope you can achieve the outcome of the lecture, which number one you should be able to identify okay what is the moment of initial and the number two you should be able to know how to apply the parallel as this theorem okay and the last one everyone should be able to determine or calculate the moment of initial for the composite body so please do the exercise and also answer all the quiz in column and then do all the tutorial okay see you for the next lecture bye